In this video, we will learn about the installation of Magento on our Windows system. So in the previous video, we learned about the overview of Magento with its feature advantages as well as disadvantages. So now first we will work upon the installation components we need for installing Magento. Here you can see. First one is firstly you need a XAMPP. XAMPP is basically a web server solution package through which you can easily work upon the installation of Magento. This will provide you the database as well as the server as well as it is written in PHP. So XAMPP is basically known for it is class platform so X and A is for Apache, M is for MySQL which is known as MariaDB now, P is for PHP and the last P1 is for Perl. So basically it is a web server solution package provided by Apache friends. So now we will see that after we have work upon XAMPP, after we have installed XAMPP, we will first create a database in MySQL which is now known as MariaDB. Now then we will start Apache and MySQL. After that we will link our Magento installation with XAMPP. So now we will see how we can install XAMPP now. So here you can see for installing XAMPP we have started a website. We have opened the website known as apachefriends.org slash download.html. After entering the link just press enter. Here you can see the download link is available for XAMPP. Here is for Windows it is available. XAMPP for Linux is also available and XAMPP for OS X which is Mac is also available. This is why it is known as a cross platform package. So we are working on a Windows system right now. So firstly we will click on the first one that is download. Click on download. Here you can see it is asking for saving the exe file for XAMPP which is the package. So click on save file. On the left you can see the installation started. Here you can see the download has been completed. So now we will install it. Click on it. So here you can see the installation of XAMPP has been started. Here you can see welcome to the XAMPP setup wizard. Now click on next. Here you can see if you remember I have told you that XAMPP is basically a web server package, web solution package. Here you can see it is providing you with a server, programming languages as well as it is also providing you with PHMI admin. Here you can see. So after checking the changes here you can see we need programming language PHP, we need database server which is Apache as well as database MySQL. So now we will click on next. Here you can see it is asking to choose a folder to install XAMPP. So now we will select a folder. So now here you can see we have selected a folder which is on the C drive. So now we will click on next. So now you can see XAMPP is ready to install. Setup is now ready to begin installing XAMPP on your computer. So here now click on next. On clicking next here you can see it is in unpacking files for installing XAMPP on your Windows machine. So here you can see the installation of XAMPP has been completed. Setup has finished installing XAMPP on your computer. Do you want to start the control panel? Yes we want to start the control panel because from there only we will start our server as well as locator database. So now click on finish. Here it is asking for selecting a language. Go for a default and click on save. Now here you can see our control panel is visible. Here you can see all the sections of XAMPP. Right now we only need the server as well as the database which is MySQL now known as MariaDB. Now we need to click on start. Click on start here Apache. Now after starting Apache start MySQL. So now here you can see status change detected running. It means the MySQL and Apache here you can see is running successfully. So now we will go to PHMI admin. First we will check that our XAMPP has been installed correctly or not by going through the browser and typing localhost then pressing enter. So let's go for it. So here you can see we have reached the browser and here we have typed localhost. After typing localhost you just need to press enter. So here you can see on pressing enter it means that we have successfully installed XAMPP. Here you can read about it, its, its community and other application. On the left you can see the sections are visible. Here you can see an application PHP My Admin is visible through which you can easily create a database. So click on it. Now here you can see after clicking a section is visible through which you can easily create a database. Here you can check the default databases. If you want to create a new database right now click on new. 
So here we are creating a database to link it with our Magento. So now here I'll type database name. So let's type it. So here you can see I have typed a database name MDB. Here you can see now you just have to click on create, click on it. Here you can see after clicking create on the left our MDB database is visible and under that the structure is visible. Right now there are no tables because we haven't linked it with our Magento. So now we will learn how we can easily install Magento. For installing Magento you need to open a link. Here you can see the link magento.com slash tech hyphen resources slash download. From here we can easily download Magento zip file then we can install it and link it with the database. So let's go for it. Press enter. So now here you can see on pressing enter the section is visible for Magento resources. From here you can download it. Here you can see the section if you want to download a zip file of Magento with no sample data you can go for this versions. But right now we will go for full release with sample data. So here you can see zip with sample data. On the left you can see the section from where you can download. Here you can select the format. The current version is Magento Community Edition 2.1.5 with sample data. So click on it. After clicking here you can see click on download to download it. Here you can see for downloading it you need to log in it. You need to first create an account here to download it. So let's first create an account and then go for the email and password and click on enter. On clicking enter the download zip file will be visible. So let's go for it. So after creating a free account there you need to log in, in and here the link for downloading Magento zip file will be visible. Click on save. On clicking save on the left you can see the downloading. Here you can see it has been completed. So now we will move this folder to the XAMPP folder. So let's see where we need to move it. So here you can see the zip file is now downloaded. Right click on it. Now you can see you need to cut it. After cutting you need to go to a folder where we need to paste it. So here you can see the folder. Right now you can see if you remember we downloaded XAMPP in C drive. Here you can see C XAMPP. Under XAMPP go to stdocs directory. Then under the stdocs you need to create a new folder which would be your website folder that is your project directory. Here we created demo website folder. Now you need to paste your Magento files under it. So right click and paste it here. Now after pasting it you need to unzip it. So let us go for it. Here you can see extract here. So now you can see it is extracting. So here you can see the process is going on for extraction. So here you can see we have successfully unzipped our Magento files here. Here you can see the directory. If you remember the that we created a folder demo website and we unzipped the Magento files here. So now we will go to the browser again and type localhost slash the website name and press enter and let's see what happens. So here you can see now we need to type the name. So we'll type it now. So here you can see we type the name localhost slash demo website and press enter. So now we will see our website is visible. Here you can see the setup for Magento is started. Here you can see welcome to Magento admin your online store. Now agree and set up Magento click on it. Here you can read the terms and agreement also. Now you can see all the steps are visible so that Magento is installed. The first one is readiness check. And here are the other steps. So we will go to the first step first. Step 1. Here you can see you need to click on the readiness check. It will check your PHE versions and extension and other stuff. So click on it. So here you can see the readiness check has been completed. And it is saying that everything is fine. You can now move to the next step. It has gone through the PSU version check, the settings check, extension check as well as the fine permission check. So now here you can see we will click on next. On clicking next here you can see the section is visible to add a database. We have reached the second step. So our host right now we are working on localhost. We are creating a website on local system. So we will add it as localhost. Server name as it is a localhost go for root. Password you don't need to add it. It is written not always necessary. Right now we are not uploading the website on server. 
when we will upload a web student server we need to add database password also right now you can leave it here you need to add a database name as well as the table prefix here you can see we will add the database name which we created in phmi admin which is mdb so let's add it so here you can see we have added the database name mdb now you can also add a table prefix this prefix will be added to your table names in the database so there is no need to add it now after doing all the changes here on the left you can see next is visible click on it so here you can see the next step is visible web configuration here is your store address you can save it here is the magento admin address it has by default come with it you can change it from here so i'll change it now but first look at the advanced option if you want to enable the https option you can enable it but right now we are not uploading it on server so we will keep it as http here apache rewrite it is quite important for mapping the url with the file system so keep it as it is checked if you want to make it more secure you can also add an encryption key so these are default option and we won't change it if you want to save the session on the files you can easily set it so after doing the changes click on next let's first give it a proper name let's go for it so here you can see i have added the admin address as admin underscore amit 2017 now i'll click on next and let's see what happens so here you can see the next step is visible here you can customize your store set the default time zone here you can see you can set the default time zone here we will change it here you can see we will be adding india standard time asia kolkata here you can see default currency you can add it here or you can change it here you can see inr the default language we are keeping it english right now if you want to change it you can easily change it if you remember in the overview we discussed that we can easily create your website in multiple languages right now we will go for the default one english here is the advanced modules configuration here you can check you need to select all it will install all the modules modules are basically what extend the functionality of a website so after doing the changes on the left here you can see the option is visible click on next So now you can see the option is visible to create an admin account here you need to add the username as well as the email id of the admin password as well as confirm password so let's add it so here you can see we have added the username for admin as well as the email id password confirm password after doing the changes on the left click on next Now here you can see the last step is visible you are ready just click on install now and that's it click on install now so here you can see the installation has been started if you want to check the console log you can check it from here here you can see installing 2% so i need to wait for some minutes so now you can see magento has been successfully installed here is the admin info you can learn about it two important links store address as well as the magento admin address is visible here is the encryption key here is the database info if you remember we added a database mdb which you can see here so in this video we basically learned how we can create a database for our website we created a database firstly we installed xamp then we linked the database with the magento installation thank you for watching